this video, we are first gonna switch from the iPhone 6S to the 70D. Let's get started. Everything is laid across the table except my camera. The current camera that I'm filming on is my daily filmer, the Canon 70D, and I opt for the Rode VidMic Go on the top. As you can see, it's attached right now. Like I'm interviewing myself. Hey, how's it going? The essential item is the Gorillapod. This is the plastic and rubber Gorillapod with the ball head. It is great. I'm gonna put my camera on it right now so I don't have to hold it and I can set it up and we will go through the rest of the stuff that I carry around. Go to phone, iPhone 6S, 64 gigabytes, white and silver, and either no case or Apple Smart battery case attached to it. Uh, this case is essential when you're on the go all day long and you run out of charge. Because a lot of you wonder maybe how I stay connected when I'm in Europe because you understand how expensive international roaming charges are. Uh, this is something I spent a lot of time on thinking because I knew I wanted to be able to, one, you know, just use my phone daily and as well also upload to YouTube when I don't have Wi-Fi over hotspot, which I knew would take a lot of data. So I knew that getting, I have AT&T, and I knew that getting an international plan through AT&T would not work. So what I did, after doing some research, I learned that T-Mobile no longer charges roaming fees. So I, uh, I then signed up for a plan with T-Mobile, and I got 10 gigabytes of data, which could be used in the United States or outside the United States for about $50 a month, I believe. I thought that was perfect. And then I also picked up this little guy here, the ZTE Falcon 917 mobile hotspot, which I had heard mixed things if it worked internationally and if it didn't work internationally. And you know, I figured, well, I'll just pick it up and see if it works. It was only a hundred bucks. It ended up not working internationally, so that's fine. But the plan with this was that I'd have my T-Mobile SIM card in here and then have all my devices connected to this and I would just run my hotspot and all my devices. Which was ideal, but it doesn't have international bands. It only works in the United States. So I ended up taking that T-Mobile SIM and I put it in my iPhone and now I just roam with my iPhone. All right, so th that, those are, that's how I stay connected and I get my data on my phone. Next step, let's go to the laptop. I am working with my huge, but very powerful Lenovo, I wanna say T440P. Yes, the T440P. Um, this is not my first pick of a laptop. It was given to me through my school. So that's what I go with. It's very powerful. Uh, it runs Premiere very well. It almost runs Premiere faster than my desktop runs Premiere. So. There's no problem there, the only problem is it's very bulky and heavy to carry around. But, it was free, it has a 256GB SSD card, so that's my go-to laptop when I'm on the go for editing and just basic stuff. Go-to mouse, the Microsoft Arc, I love this thing. Folds like that, folds back, just put it in your pocket, put it in your bag, forget about it, it's flat. All right, on top of that, since the laptop is only 256 gigabytes, we also carry around this two terabyte Western Digital My, Por My Passport Ultra. Um, this hard drive has music, videos, pictures, you know, all the, all the stuff that I'm working with daily, but I can't keep on the laptop because it just gets too full. What else? This little guy here, this thing from Kingston, is great. I don't know, I'll put it a little closer if you could see it. It's a little aluminum, it's nice. It's USB 3.0 to micro SD and regular SD. My laptop does have an SD card reader, but it does not obviously have a micro SD card reader. So this is how I use my micro SD, how I uh, import stuff from my micro SD, which comes, which leads me to talk about my, right here, my GoPro Hero 3. Uh, this thing takes micro SD, it's great. I think, I don't really know much specs on this. I think it shoots 1080, 30 FPS. Um, maybe one time in the future I'll up upgrade to a Hero 4, but the Hero 3, I have not outgrown it yet, it's great. 
I'm also gonna show you how all my tech fits in one bag. How I am able to travel with this bag as well as, you know, just put the daily essentials in it and go around on a day. All right, so we talked about the GoPro, we talked about the computer. Um, entertainment, I carry around Bose QC20Is. I'm pretty sure that's the model number. They're the sound canceling earbuds that work for iPhone. They have the remote for the iPhone. Pretty sure it's the QC20Is. Oh, hey, check out this little thing I picked up on Amazon. Because I have this big bulky case, the headphone jack doesn't fit. So this is a little headphone extender, which I, uh, little trusty headphone extender there. Uh, as well as carrying around the Bose, I carry around my Apple EarPods because let's be honest, $300 on headphones or free headphones, nine times out of 10, I put my Apple EarPods in my ears. Um, there's only a few times I put the Bose in my ears. I know it sounds awful and you guys are probably like, the Bose are sound so much better, but honestly, my go-to headphones are the Apple EarPods nine times out of 10. Um, can't go on vacation without bringing your jam box. This is the the small, I'm pretty sure it's the first model jam box. I know they made, they redesigned it and they made it a little smaller now, but this is the first model. Um, Jawbone by Jambox. <laughs> Jambox by Jawbone. Uh, it's great. I love this thing. Bluetooth. Everyone needs a little Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it's, it's years old, so it's probably time I, uh, I upgrade in the near future to a new, to a new Bluetooth speaker. All right, so to go along with the Canon 70D, we carry an extra battery, and I probably need four more of these things because these batteries just drain like crazy. Um, currently in there is a 64 gigabyte card. I also have a 32 gigabyte SanDisk card, which again, in the near future, I will be getting more cards because those things just fill up as well. All right, so last for cameras, let's go to the drone. This is my Phantom 3 4K. Uh, it's in between the Phantom 3 Standard and the Phantom 3 Advanced or Professional. I don't know. It doesn't have light beam, but it has a 4K sensor. It's great. I love this thing. <laughs> Flying drones is one of the greatest things. I love it. I've always been obsessed with flight, and then I got my drone, and now ah, the drone's great. I love drones. Everyone loves drone clips. Who doesn't love drone clips? Anyways. So to go along with the drone, obviously, you gotta carry around this huge controller. And I have two Phantom 3 batteries. And you, you end up carrying around both these Phantom 3 batteries. But anyways, so that's, I use my GoPro Hero 3, my Canon 70D, my iPhone 6S, and my Phantom 3 4K, Lenovo T440P, and you, we talked about headphones. Anyways, before I show you how all this stuff can fit in one bag, I am gonna go through what I carry for cables. To start, inside and outside of the US, this is my favorite power outlet. It gives you three strips, the, what do you even call these things? Three plugs and two USBs, as well as surge protection. Comes out, just plug this into the wall and then you get that. So when we travel to Europe, we just bring this little guy along with us, as well as the UK, I guess. Flip it out. There you go, you get your European plugs. This plugs into that like that, you also get two more USB ports, as well as your American plugs. This is what I found to be the best, is because I'm charging so many things, instead of getting a lot of adapters, I just want to plug this Belkin power strip into one adapter. Cables, cables, cables. We carry, I carry a lot of cables. Let's start here. We carry one USB 3.0 to I don't even know what this this head is called. This plugs into the external hard drives. So this is USB 3.0 for my external drive. I then carry a mini USB which charges the drone. Ah, excuse me. 
which charges the Hero 3, uh, my mini USB that charges my Hero 3. Two micro, uh, micro USBs, one small one and one six foot one made by Anchor. I love Anchor cables. I will never buy any other cable except Anchor now. Anchor cables. Every, I'm gonna link everything in the description below to purchase on Amazon, just so you guys can see what tech I use. Um, I carry one two meter Apple lightning cable, one two meter anchor lightning cable, one one meter anchor lightning cable, and one one meter Apple lightning cable. Yes, that's four lightning cables. We have two five watt Apple power bricks, one using the world travel adapter for the Europe, and the other one has the American plug on it. I use both of these uh, as power. Those ones will obviously plug into the Belkin. Here's my mobile power bank. Micro USB to charge it. USB 2.1 volt uh, amps out. Charge my device on the go. Sorry, I don't know the milliamps on this. I've had this thing for years. It's probably so dead. It used to charge my iPhone three times. Now it charges my iPhone maybe once. Uh, Canon battery charger, obviously. And, oh, the two meter Apple Watch charger, which honestly, I don't know why this thing came two meters. It's just a pain. I need to get a smaller one. The two things that you need if you wanna travel with the tech that I travel with. Number one is this guy. It's called the Gridit. They come in different sizes. I believe this is the medium sized one. Put all your cables in here. It snaps like this. Cables, headphones, everything. I love this thing, it's great. Number two is my backpack, obviously. This is a backpack made by Manfrotto. It is specially designed to fit a drone, as well as uh, camera fits in this compartment up above. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pack my bags. I'm gonna show you how all this stuff can fit in one bag. And, yeah, let's get these bags packed. We're now pretty much fully packed. We're left with one Canon battery, a lens cover, <laughs> Apple ear pods, and Bose headphones. And this is where I cheat a little bit. The top of this bag here is all foamy inside, and that's meant to hold your, uh, your camera and your lenses. But I usually just throw accessories in there and stuff that I bring on the go because my camera is always attached to my Gorilla Pod and it's in my hand. Um, that being said though, my camera does fit in here, it just, it doesn't fit in here without the mic. So, that's it, throw my accessories in the camera spot and camera's always in my hand with Gorilla Pod. <laughs> 